What I didn't realize during that lesson that my mom didn't even know she was teaching me is that during times of hardship or what seemed difficult and you're down and out, the rope of Allah Ta'ala is always there. And she held onto it at the hardest moment of her life. And I believe I held onto it at the hardest point in my life. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Sara Sandra Sabal, and I've been blessed to be in the service of the Muslim community here in Melbourne all my life. So from different aspects of leadership, whether it be education, youth, mentoring, community gatherings, I guess you can call me a community worker. The inspirational person I'd like to share with you today is my mom. A woman who in so many ways inspired me to be the person that I am on a faith level, on a leadership level, and in my personal life. Despite the fact that I only had a short amount of time with her, she left this world when I was at the tender age of 14. She left the greatest impact on me. There's one particular event in my mother's life that stays with me quite strongly. It was the day she decided to leave her dysfunctional and unhealthy relationship with my father and the day she went to the courts to get her divorce. See, my mom was a fashion designer. She didn't wear hijab and she wasn't what you'd call practicing in the traditional sense. But she went that day to the courthouse with her permed hair, it was the 80s, and she came back wearing a hijab. And I remember being shocked. I was like, Mom, like, what's that about? And she said, I'm finally free. Now that was a really interesting thing for me to hear because she equated hijab and taking on a spiritual path now because that's what she was indicating to being free. I don't think I understood it at the tender age of 12. But I remember the day that she passed away the day of the funeral. It was that day that I felt so incredibly alone. And I remember leaving the funeral thinking, Allah's got me. And I turned around within a few months, I began my spiritual path. I wore hijab, I found a teacher, or a teacher found me, as they say. And I began my journey of faith. I see my mom's courage within me showing up at various times in my life, whether it be the time I was invited to be the first female teacher at Rehla, or leading a women's-led organization here in Melbourne, or other situations where I knew it was really difficult and I had to show up. I could see and feel my mom's courage within guiding me through. The way my mother showed up with the community, despite not being a community worker or an educator of any way, shape or form, is that she was constantly in service to everybody else. I have this constant image of my mom on the phone helping out other women that are in need. I have this image of her going and buying extra groceries with money she really did not have to ensure that other people also had enough. Nobody knew of her plight and nobody knew of her situation. I see the same things played out in the seerah of the Prophet ﷺ when he would go out of his way to help other people. The truth is my mother did not know much about Islamic history or the seerah, but what she did know is that her love for Allah Ta'ala came naturally at a time when her faith and her life was in dire need of Allah. And she found her path to Allah on her own. And this inspires me to understand and firmly believe that our path to Allah is innate, that we all know our journey to Allah and it is unique to every single one of us. If there's one message that my mother has left me with, is to hold on to Allah Ta'ala in the times of difficulties and hardship. Allah is constantly speaking to us every single moment in every single day, but we rarely understand the speech. Allah is constantly sending us people to guide us in different circumstances to guide us, but we rarely have eyes open enough to see these situations. Allah's message and teachings 
don't necessarily only reside in places of worship and classrooms. They're actually in every single breath that we take. We just need to have an open heart to see and witness Allah in every moment and hear Him calling out to us to return back to Him in every moment. But the human condition often only witnesses Allah through tragedy and pain. Speaking about all of this now has made me come to the realization that I thought that my mom gave me courage, but in reality, she gave me so much more. She, she gave me my path to Allah and I actually didn't realize that. I mean, I knew there was always a connection, but her message was so much greater than what I thought. And I mourned her for so long, but I realized much later on that Allah taking her when he did was the greatest gift he could have given me. Despite the pain that I carry every day, it still remains the greatest gift.